Welcome back, everybody. It is time once again for the Super Bowl. We're in Atlanta today for the Cardinals and the Titans as our Arizona Cardinals try to make it back-to-back -back seasons crowned as Super Bowl champions. The last team standing in front of us this season has the Super Bowl MVP from last year. So someone's getting their second title in a row. Will it be Joey Bosa or the team that traded him, our Cardinals? Now, Joey Bosa was a big part of our team. He was a part of two Super Bowl championships, and he was part of the Josh Rosen trade we made many years ago. Bosa is probably a Hall of Famer in this series, but is not coming off his best season, where he only had five sacks, and that's a steep decline from where he was just a couple years ago. However, I know that he's still a really good talent, and our tackles are pretty inconsistent. I know that we're going to see a matchup between him and Turner die, and hopefully Turner is up for the matchup because we really need to make sure Bosa does not get a second MVP. But this Titans team is pretty good. We played them, I believe, last year or the year before, and we lost to them. Their quarterback did not start his rookie contract. Norman Burford is 27 years old. We found this last episode. It wasn't until his fifth season he truly became a starting quarterback, so a really interesting career arc for him, and it seems to be working as they've won the AFC title. At running back, Tyrone Bennett out of Northwestern is a 79 overall. He is an elusive back with solid speed. These ratings here aren't too bad. At receiver, they might have troubles getting open against us. We have Aaron Howell and Shakir Cosby, two very good corners. Cosby this year was a pro bowler. Gordon Iwabima, 78 overall. We've seen his stats flash along the bottom ticker for a long time. And I haven't really taken the chance to look at his career or anything, but he's not very fast. So that gives us an edge because we do have very athletic, speedy corners. What's he done throughout his career? I feel like he's been here for a long time. No, I guess I've just recognized the name a lot lately. Will Koontz offers a little more speed, but he's not a great route runner. Not against our corners anyway. I can't expect him to create too much separation. But we'll see. We're a zone-heavy team, so sometimes you just have to have the right play drawn up is all. Earl Zoe Hollier from Georgia, a 31-year-old tight end with star development, 82 speed, 82 catching, and he's been a pretty consistent player throughout this series. Definitely one of the top tight ends in the league. Now, last time we played the Titans, they had Taylor Burford score a touchdown, the brother of quarterback Norman Burford. So Taylor Burford will probably see the field a decent bit, especially if they run a similar scheme to the one they had at the beginning of a series, a lot of power running. But overall, this is a pretty good matchup, I feel. And it's one that I think favors us, but there are some players that they have from our old team. Connor Cruel at right tackle will start and see a lot of Marcus Sullivan. And then there's Joey Bosa, of course. Pretty stout here along the defensive interior, led by Graham Saturday at linebacker. Paul Bradford in the middle is only 23 years old, very rangy, can pass rush if he needs to, and has very good cover skills. Aristus Little is not playing. That's a huge loss for their defense and a big boost for our offensive line as Jerron Hadley and Eric Bowen will start at cornerback. Adoree Jackson now aging. He is a nickel, and he is only 78 overall. So a fun matchup today. I like it, and I wonder how each team is going to do throwing the football given we just have an advantage over their receivers, and their corners happen to be pretty good. So we're going to upgrade our kicker, Ryan Schroeder, 85 overall, and a little kick power boost. Lawrence Turner earns an upgrade. Not sure he's played much this season. I am curious, though, so I'll check the numbers out. Yeah, just one catch this year. Five in his short career to this point. Cameron Losman at right guard. Power it is. And five ratings go up. Two for lead block, two for run block. 
Upgrading tackle Watts Toller as well. And finally, wide receiver Brian Gutierrez, who has gotten better, I think, throughout the season. And I'm really tempted to go deep route and to just work on his all-around game. But that 79 catching, I feel we have to focus on now while we're getting these upgrades more often. And that'll get it into the 80s, thankfully. Trucking in possession. That's an interesting rating to go up. So that's all we have pregame, everybody. Cardinals and Titans. Can our Arizona Cardinals win their third ring of the series? And here we are, Super Bowl, I forget what number, but hopefully it's our third victory. And I do intend, regardless, win or lose after this, we're going to pick up the pace now with Madden 20 approaching, quickly approaching at that. And I want to get through a number of additional seasons. But I feel we have a pretty special team here. I like what we've built and the decisions made during the offseason, trading Joey Bosa and everything I did, got us back here. So can we win our third ring? We only won three all of the Browns rebuild. So if we win our third today, I think we can beat that Browns mark. And here we begin. Two tight ends in the game. Norman Burford lining up under center. And Tennessee... We'll start with play action. Burford has time. And now he's going to fire downfield. It's knocked away. Aaron Howell got his hand on it. Can they separate and move the ball in the air against our secondary? Burford floating outside. That's a good throw. Out of reach for Frank McFadden. And now third down and short. They'll keep it on the ground with this one. Good team effort by Vaughn and LaMarcus Russell as Bennett comes up short. Good opening sequence. And now we start with four receivers on the field. Let's go. I think that's the right approach. They have two really good corners, so let's just really test their depth as Unger is chased and gets it away. I can't believe he didn't get sacked. Handling the pass rush is one of the top keys for this game as Lemon spins outside and falls ahead with a short pickup. Can we convert our third down? Cards need seven. Unger's protected. This is caught by Young, but he's not going to get there. Two three and outs to open the day. Just a 43-yard punt by Mann, which is low by Madden standards. Tennessee takes over now. Pretty good field position. They'll try the stretch. And getting outside, this is a solid pickup for Bennett. And they're going with the delay now. Good, Phil. That's a good job by Ahmad Burns, and that forces another third down. Titans looking for the first third down conversion, and they'll do so with... A bunch look there at the top. Single receiver here to the bottom against Shakir Cosby. It's Burford to the middle, and that is complete. So the Titans move the chains, and now working to the right, a spin from Bennett that probably wasn't necessary as he gets to the Cardinal 44. I expect to see a lot of running here out of Tennessee. Play action as well. And Ahmad Burns coming through on the blitz. Got to be ready for that. Third and ten. I don't think Tennessee has a good chance of converting situations like this. They're going to really have to hold up in protection for these receivers to get separation. Here's Burford. And it's almost picked. We close quickly on that one. Wallace almost had it. A defensively focused matchup thus far as Arizona has it now at their own 12. We have two tight ends in, and it's going to be Unger looking for something quick, and he's intercepted! Double coverage on Walker Onobun. Throw it anywhere else but there. Tennessee takes over now after a rare Unger postseason turnover. They used to be quite common. He's cleaned it up ever since last year, and this year has been good. But a costly error there as Tennessee has it. Tyrone Bennett for two. Or actually, this is Gordon. They switched out tailbacks. And facing the second down. Burford to the middle and open to the five-yard line. 
Always got to be aware of the tight ends over the middle. And that is going to set them up. Goal to go. Can Tennessee strike first? Two receivers at the top. Burford. He's going end zone with this one. Touchdown, Titans. Capitalizing quickly off the mistake by J.W. Unger. Trey Lee hit the extra point, by the way. I forgot that he is in Tennessee as well. It was Gordon Iwabima on the score, putting Tennessee on the board. All right, Arizona, what's your response? Duran Samuda is in the game alongside Lemon. They're both blocking. What's this play? Unger, all day, now short, and caught Gutierrez fighting with the ball. Spreading out the defense again, and this is through the hands. That's a clean drop by Gutierrez, and bad timing after the upgrade. Looking like a blitz here off the edge. Picked up, and Unger complete! This time finding the open, Walker Onobun. Three receivers in the game now, and Lemon will get the call. Finding some daylight here and breaking out the juke as he gets out to midfield. From midfield now, it's Unger, and he finds Bradley Young over the middle. That defender, though, stayed step for step with him, so that's pretty impressive. Good drive going here for Arizona as Lemon takes it outside. He's got plenty of daylight. There's the spin, and there he goes. Jason Lemon for the touchdown. When I saw one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, I knew it was over. You do not tackle Jason Lemon in isolation. Those days are long gone. Tie ball game, everybody. Seven apiece as Iwabima gets to Norman Burford. We'll do a little bit of simulating now. In a tight game, Burford doesn't get much, and they have to kick it. However, we're backed up here. This is the danger zone for the offense, and it looks like all we're going to do is create enough space to punt it right back. All right, they take over with excellent field position now at our 36. They capitalized last time at our 25 or something like that. And now Bennett wrapped up, but he got away. Still on his feet, and Tyrone Bennett turns a nondescript carry into a five-yard pickup that I was worried would go a whole lot more. Already in field goal range, but trying to get a step further. Burford. He'll swing it out of the backfield. Bennett brought down in the open field by Deontay Wallace. Good stop. Those open field tackles are so key. And again, that was Gordon. He must see the field a decent bit. Devon Gordon. I'll remember that. And Trey Lee hits the 45-yard field goal. And we'll take over. Down by three. Arizona football now. We start this drive with the tight look. And Unger's got to get this away, and he's intercepted again. That's the second pick, and Paul Bradford jumped in front of Jason Lemon. I highlighted Bradford earlier. Very young, 88 speed, I believe 85 zone coverage, and a very, very heads-up play there. This is the third time they've began a drive in scoring range. And they'll start with a run. Bennett with a head of steam. And falling ahead, driving to the 20-yard line. I thought Tyrone Bennett was an elusive back. I didn't realize there'd be so much power in his game as well. From the 20 now. Burford outside. Good play. You really got to be sharp on those throws that go outside the numbers. Because if you're lazy or if you float them, those are going the other way. A little worried there at the slot to the top. Not sure what our call is, but it could be left open. It's not. Instead, the quick strike is caught. This is Hollier inside the five. Another good play by Tennessee, and now a chance to go up two scores. They go empty. I love the idea here. Burford in the shotgun. Looking to throw quick. Instead, buying time, and Burford is going down. He could have ran or done something else, but instead, sacked by Vaughn. Now they'll keep it on the ground, and there's an opening! The ball came out! Arizona!
Arizona football! Deontay Wallace got it. I think he might have even knocked it out. We've got to see this again. Tyrone Bennett's been off to a strong start, but now we have that ball coming out cleanly before he's down. It is forced by Ahmad Burns. The star linebackers for both teams coming up big, causing turnovers that are just canceling each other out. Cardinals football. What a huge change for this game. They could have gone up by two scores. Instead, Unger with a strike to the open Onobon, and hopefully J-Dub can protect the football a little better. This team has two really good corners, quality safeties, Paul Bradford, you really can't afford to mess around. I feel that both teams are kind of better off focusing on the run. I know that they had some success with Bennett. Uh-oh, nearly picked again. I just don't like how this is starting. So many contested throws. We've seen that on both sides. I don't think we've seen the last of the turnovers today. Third down now. Don't want to punt from this area again. And we're going to keep it on the ground. Lemon. Oh, man, that hesitation. I've never liked that animation. It just takes too long. Not sure how much we're going to sim today. I'm really hoping that we can watch most of the action and not miss much of it today. And it's been a good game to this point. With the first half winding down, we have Burford protected, and that is complete. Taking them up toward the first down marker. So very different starts for these quarterbacks. Burford has a touchdown and only two incompletions on 11 attempts. J-Dub, meanwhile, under 50% complete, two interceptions. Here is a power look from Tennessee. I like that we brought the safety down. They pick him up, though, and Burford open inside the 20. It's his brother, Taylor Burford, at the 14. Now Taylor Burford sent in motion. Tennessee on the ground. Bennett, he's quick, and he gets them inside the 10. Another key play. Same situation as last time, nearly. Third and four. Tennessee will go to the end zone with it. It's thrown away. I thought they'd have somebody back there. Instead, they're settling for a field goal. Trey Lee chip shot from right hash. And the kick is up cleanly. 13 to 7. Guess we're going to watch the kickoff now. What can we make happen? There's the kick to the one-yard line. It's Duran Samuda, the pro bowler. And he'll break away from one defender before being slammed down at the 28. All right, J-Dub, two-minute drill time now. And don't turn the ball over again, please. From the 28, Unger quick, caught. It's Walker Onobun. Out to our own 36. Now to the outside. It's Young who can't get a chance to run with it. I feel like we're at very little yak in this game. And we're a team that's built to get some of that. 46-yard line now. Unger got time to throw. It's knocked away from Onobon. Going empty now. Unger throwing quick. There we go. Much better. Really trying to get Ono Bun involved here over the middle. And now Marquise Walters has to exit the game. That could bring in someone like Lawrence Turner. We'll have to see when we go spread. But now three receivers in. And again, it's Unger with really good protection. We've been stout for the most part. And now he's got to get it away. And he's rewarded with another Ono Bun catch. Well, I just realized this could be Walker Onobun's last game as a Cardinal if we're not able to find a way to retain him next year. That would be a huge loss. Unger spins. He's bought time and now dumps it off, but we'll lose yardage. Still have a timeout left. We'll see if we can put it to use. 30 seconds left. Got to get to the 19 for a first down. Blitz picked up. Unger, come on! I'm not sure if there was just a collision there and a receiver couldn't get to his spot. But that could have been the third interception thrown by Unger. We will get the 43-yard field goal, though, and go into the half trailing by three. 
We will sim a drive to begin the second half, and we begin by going backwards. So, 23 yards. I thought this drive would be headed nowhere, and instead, a Bosa penalty extends the drive. And now, 22 to Walker on Obon. We're in range. 9 to Lemon, 7 for Lemon. Teron Samuda has to check in now. And we just keep... Ah, oh, we didn't move the chains that time. All we did is tie it up. We'll send one drive now up Tennessee's, but that took a lot of time off the clock here in the third. And the Titans at their 38-yard line get Devon Gordon involved again. These two backs have been pretty key to their plans today. And on third and 12, they can't get much. Blocked! Trey Lee's kick is no good. All right, it's Cardinal Ball, and I want to know who blocked that kick. Jarvis Salisbury. Of course it was. The playmaker, who will be here for a long time, gets it done. And now, let's see if the Cardinals can finally take a lead. So the third quarter is already nearly complete. We'll likely watch the rest of this game. It's Unger going downfield in stride. It's Gutierrez. Taking it inside the 15. That's our biggest pass connection of the day. And it was on a perfect J.W. Unger throw. Now we just got to get this in the end zone. Here goes Lemon spinning ahead. Another one. Lemon fighting down to the four. Now can we get this lead to start the fourth quarter? Unger to the air. Oh, another drop by Gutierrez. I wonder if we go inside zone here. Third and short. Three receivers in the game. It's Unger. Got time. He'll fire for the touchdown. Oh, no fun. Breaks open. He's done it all season. Contract year. 16 scores. And a magnificent playoff run that began with the game against his former team. The run he's been on is the best we've seen out of any receiver in the series. Isaac White was great for us way back in the series, but I don't think anybody's done what Onobun's done this year. It is a 20-13 game now, and I cannot wait to see how this game closes. I like to see a little more pass rush now from us as Burford is going to the ground. Howard Iwabima, two and a half sacks on the day. That makes it second down and 16. Now they're going quick, knocked away, no chance. Aaron Howell, and now we've got them right where we want them. Third and 16. You just got to be careful here of the tight end vertical. Third down now. We're going to bring for Burford. Iwabima's right there again. At this rate, he might end up being the MVP. That's three and a half sacks. Here's the punt. Jason Lemon set up at the 40, no, the 36-yard line. And Lemon has it up to midfield. Uh-oh. Jason Lemon's down. I saw that. Grabbing at his left arm. That means Duran Samuda has to get into the game in the fourth quarter as we try to run this clock out. The first round rookie. And he gets the fake. Unger with a good throw. It is Onobun all the way to the 30. Tennessee is under 100 passing yards on the day. And now we'll run it with Samuda who is thrown down. But got seven yards on the carry. Here we go. Green, 39. Working our way toward the red zone. And now we're there. Face mask on top of it. After Ollie Kitchens made the grab. Can the Cardinals go up two scores? Unger set to throw again. Quick strike for Onobun. Gets us five yards closer. Two tight ends in the game now. On second and goal, we run it with Samuda, who broke a tackle and nearly got into the end zone. Is this the toss? 
Third and goal, a dive. McAllister is in for the touchdown. Lucas McAllister. He's been a pretty key player on this team for a number of years. I'm happy he gets the score here. And Joey Bosa helped us out. Whose team is he on? He's about to reveal that Cardinals uniform underneath the Titan jersey. It is now 27 to 13. Two touchdown game and the Titans now feel the pressure. Burford to the middle, this is complete. That ball is out and taken away. Ahmad Burns does it again. Second forced fumble of the day. Your choices for MVP are pretty much endless with this team. It could be Onobon, Burns, Iwabima. Now let's go up three touchdowns. 7.08 left to go, and we're still throwing. Unger dumps it off, and Young got away from one and is inside the 20. Blitz will be headed our way. Here's Unger spinning into it. Not a good idea. And an injury to Saturday, their top defensive tackle. From the 27, Samuda on the screen. Not sure if Lemon's going to return, but it's Samuda getting the chance. He gets seven. Now let's go. There goes Samuda. Now it's a screen the other way, and that didn't work at all. So, 27 13. This for a three score lead. And we got it, Ryan Schroeder. All right, Tennessee, it's looking over for you. Howard Iwabima, four and a half sacks. Ahmad Burns knocks away a pass. I think we've got this one nearly wrapped up, everybody. Back-to-back -back seasons for the Cardinals. And it looks like we're gonna finish this game with a lopsided victory, 33-13. And that, everybody, will be the final. Arizona has won their third title of the series, their second consecutive. And this time we do it in dominant fashion. Although last year I know we were dominant as well. But we've built a very strong core of players. And it's going to be a challenge to keep them together. We're already set to possibly lose Walker Ono Bun. But we've got a couple rings now. We're definitely going to speed the pace up to see what happens for the rest of these players along their journey. And there's Joey Bosa. Didn't make much of an impact today. Turner Die pretty much shut him down. Wow, Ahmad Burns is the MVP. He had an interception. He had two forced fumbles. He had some competition there. Iwabima had four and a half sacks. I thought he was going to win it. But Ahmad Burns, it's fitting. The aggressive move to get him last year helped us get over the hump. And now in two years, two titles for Ahmad Burns. That trade up was worth it. You gotta go get those impact players. They make the true difference. It was a close game until the fourth quarter where the Cardinals took off. We recovered from a couple bad turnovers early on. The Titans had a chance to make it a two-score lead before Ahmad Burns forced that key red zone fumble on Tyrone Bennett, who was playing really well in the first half but didn't get much work in the second. Ono Bun once again was very reliable, led us in catches and yards, also came through with the touchdown, and I'm really hoping it's not the last time we see him in a Cardinal uniform. I don't think that he was this good the first years that we had him but this season that was incredible and how do you let a player that can do that just walk and congratulations to nate bell who has now surpassed the aaron donald legacy from before the series if the trophy kept up with his current legacy i'm not sure we'd ever get there suffered a couple injuries in this one i'm just worried that if they're an achilles injury then it's a really big deal and no Achilles for Lemon or Walters, but they both suffered pretty serious injuries. But they'll be recovered now in the offseason. We're not going to have JT King next year because of his Achilles Terry suffered, I think, week 17. Somehow all these owners have incredible legacy, and despite three titles, we're still all the way down here with Nate Bell. Three titles, three NFC championships. 
undefeated in Super Bowls. That's nice, because in the Brown series, it wasn't quite like that. So there you have it, everybody. Another title for our Cardinals. And with Madden 20 approaching, like I mentioned, I want to speed things up and get us some more progress. Obviously, I want to see the end of the careers for J.W. Unger, Jason Lemon, which means we have some work to do. J.W. Unger is only 27 years old, so we could be a ways away from the end of his career, especially if he plays until he's 40. So, I'm not sure yet how I want to do the episodes upcoming. I haven't done those long season episodes like I did in the Brown series for a while now, so I'll probably have to watch one of those to see how I used to do it. But you can let me know what you want going forward from the series, whether it's a similar format to what we've had maybe it's just to speed things up for a handful of seasons just let me know what you want i want to see your feedback down below but it's been an awesome run with this series i really enjoyed it and i want to make sure we can still get a lot of stuff accomplished before we end the series we'll wrap up here in just a moment i just like taking a look at the retirements before we finish out these episodes Isaiah Wynn has retired so did Joey Bosa which I expected Jared Strojny a lot of players already we've seen from our team Will Hernandez Saquon Barkley Rashawn Adams has retired there aren't many players in this series now that were actually here in season one Moses Humphrey resigned he does not retire Parker Tate's going to be a free agent. I wonder what his overall is. Trey Lee was released. Tyrone Bennett was released. The Titans are just releasing everybody after losing the Super Bowl. Hey, Pierce Hamilton's going to be available as well. There's just one more player I'm really looking for here. Oh, there it is. Trey Brackenridge has been released. He has not retired. Could there be a chance he ends up on the Cardinals next season? We'll see. Jonathan Mitchell's good. So many players are getting released. And the final thing I want to show you all before we end today's episode is our cap space, which is 21.3 million. That is not much. Actually, it's closer to 30. I forgot that when you highlight a player, it shows the cap room if you were to sign that player. So we have a few key free agents, Walker Onobon, Aaron Howell, Shakir Cosby, and some other contributors. We'll see how much roster turnover we have, what moves I decide to make, but it should be a fun time next episode. And let me know what you want to see from future seasons of the series. We can do faster full seasons and then go through the postseason, or we can, you know, keep it status quo, but... Let me know below, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting this nearly 100-episode series. Still a lot more to come. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you with episode 98 shortly. Have a great day, everybody.